Hello and welcome back to Flora on Food. It's been a little while since we created a cooking video, but now that we have plenty of time on our hands, what better time to bring it back now that we are in lockdown on a campsite in Sardinia? So Flora on Food is back by popular demand. I want to say thank you very much to everybody that got in contact and left a comment on our previous videos. Those positive messages have made me feel invigorated and re-energised and I want to create more van life recipes for you guys at home. So whilst we are on lockdown in Italy, I'm going to be combining what we have in the kitchen cupboards in the van with whatever we find at the local supermarket. I'm going to be creating simple meals that are cooked on the camp stove and won't cost the earth. I really want to cook classic Italian dishes but maybe add a little twist of my own. So today's starring Italian ingredient is polenta. Polenta is very cheap and was once a staple ingredient to Northern Italian cooking. It is one of the oldest dishes in history and made from corn. However, I don't think it's quite as popular or as well known in the UK. So for today's recipe, we're going to cook the polenta and then set it and then pan fry it to make it all crispy and really, really lovely. I'm going to combine it then with some pan fried fennel and courgette ribbons and then I'm going to finish it off by cheating a little bit with some red pesto. But feel free to make your own green pesto at home if you fancy it. The polenta has to be made in advance to allow it to set. So it needs to be done a couple of hours or even the day before. So that's where we're going to start. Firstly, finely dice half an onion and peel and crush a clove of garlic. Check out the pinned comment below to find the ingredients list and the link to our recipe. Next up, pick the rosemary off the woody stems, then finely chop it to allow all of the savoury flavour to be released. The finer it is chopped, the better. This rosemary was foraged from our campsite. Now pop the kettle on, just so that it's ready to make up the veg stock in a little while. In the meantime, place a large saucepan on the heat and add a drizzle of olive oil. Add the onions and the garlic to the pan. Allow them to colour slightly and turn translucent. Add the finely chopped rosemary. A large pinch of salt and pepper. And a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Stir into the hot onions and garlic. This smells fantastic. A really savoury aroma. Meanwhile, make up four cups of stock. I use a veg oxo cube in boiling water. Add the polenta to the pan and combine with the sautéed onion mix. Stir and coat the grains of polenta in the onion and oil and allow it to soak up all of the flavours. Now add the veg stock and quickly mix with a wooden spoon to remove the lumps. You may have to briskly beat the mixture. It should resemble something like porridge, but it soon thickens to resemble wet mash. Now oil and line a vessel to set the polenta in. I used a margarine tub to create a brick shape, so it's easy to slice. Spoon the cooked polenta into the tub. Shake or firmly bang it on a surface to remove any bubbles or gaps in the mix. This will create a nice square block. Place an oiled piece of foil on top and leave to cool and refrigerate overnight. From my experience, it takes a minimum of three hours to set and cool. So 
So here's one I made earlier. I made this yesterday so that it's set lovely and hard. It's what it looks like. And we're gonna slice that in a minute, but I'm gonna start with the vegetables first. To accompany the polenta, we'll be cooking the fennel. I'm gonna thinly slice it and caramelize it in a pan with a bit of oil. They're looking a bit rough because they are leftovers from a big veg box that we got for about five euros of different veg that were all very close to their use by date. They look a bit ropey now though. And we'll be using a courgette or zucchini, um, which I'm gonna peel and make into ribbons with a peeler and they'll just add a little bit of something different instead of it just being cubed. The next step is to turn out the polenta. It's going to be like a solid block, a little bit like a meatloaf. So we're going to slice it and I'm just trying to decide which way to slice it so it looks best and gets really nice and crispy. So for a little dressing for this dish, I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil to some shop-bought red pesto. It just makes it a little bit looser so that we can drizzle it over the top. But if you want to make your own green pesto, that would be really nice with this. So now it's cooking time. We're going to use two different pans. One, we're going to fry the slices of polenta in some hot sunflower oil because sunflower has a higher um, burning point than olive oil. And then in another pan, we're going to like stir fry and caramelize the fennel add a little bit of salt and pepper, and then we'll add the courgette ribbons right at the end. I might chuck in a couple of cherry tomatoes because the courgette ribbons really won't take very long to cook at all. Don't forget the polenta. Turn it over when it's golden brown and crispy. It should take three to five minutes on each side. When the fennel is nearly cooked, add the zucchini ribbons. Add a lid to the pan. This traps the steam so it finishes cooking the vegetables gently. I also turn the heat off too. And now it's time to plate up, which is my favorite part. So just assemble it however you want it and then drizzle that pesto all over the top and get ready to enjoy. I really wish we had a handful of rocket to add to this dish, just to lift it and add a little bit of freshness. So there we have it, crispy fried polenta with fennel, courgette and tomato. It's a really simple recipe, which is very versatile. The polenta can be flavoured with so many different herbs and spices, I encourage you to give it a test. Mega simple. Different veggies can be used too, whatever you've got at home in the, in the fridge or in the cupboard. And yeah, never cooked this particular dish before and I've never cooked polenta in the van either. So it's a first for us and I think it's time to test it. So that's it for today. If you'd like to find this recipe, head over to our webpage, which is www.countcomforts.co.uk. Link is down below, and there's plenty of other recipes for you to find there too. So from us, we'll see you next time on Flora on Food. Hello. No, don't like it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so whilst we are on lockdown in Italy, I'm going to be, oh, I spat. I'm going to be creating simple meals. Cook. Polenta was once a cheap staple ingredient of northern Italian cooking. I don't want to shake it that much. It's a very simple dish. It's a very simple. <laughs> and there you have it. Crispy fried. Well, struggling a little bit today. It just wasn't going in the brain very well. Different flavours, you can put different flavours into the polenta. Me uh, like. So from us, 
We'll see you in it. So from us, we'll see you next time.